what's poppin', everybody? It's your boy P. PR up, PR links, man. And it's time for my final thoughts on Black Ops 3, man. Tomorrow or well, later today, because it's Thursday. Le later today at midnight, we're gonna get two new games uh, Infinity Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. So it's about that time to give you guys my final thoughts on Black Ops 3 and when I thought, when I, you know, I like or dislike about this game. And my final rating. Now, <clears throat> I want to start off by saying that this is the most fun I have playing Call of Duty in a long, long time. I think the last game that I played of Call of Duty that I have actually had this much fun playing was Modern Warfare 3. And I know a lot of people say, you know, swear up and down on Black Ops 2. But I have more fun playing Modern Warfare 3 than I did, you know, Black Ops 2. Not to say Black Ops 2 is a bad game. I just have more fun playing Modern Warfare 2. So, <clears throat> the weapons. I think that the weapons in this game were pretty balanced. I think that uh, you have you upper tier weapons like, you know, the v VMP and and you had an upper tier uh, assault rifle in the um, Man of War. And you also you had an upper tier LMG in the Dingo. So, you know, and on the sniping rifles, you had the Locus, that was an upper um, tier uh, rifle. Also on the shotguns, you, got, you had the Brecky, that was the upper tier um, shotgun. So, Every every single <clears throat> weapon class had an upper tier in it, and that's pretty nice. Cause usually in uh, many Call of Duties, you either have all the weapons to be like pretty much the same, or you will have one particular weapon that overpowers every single weapon in the game. So. To have an upper tier in every single class, is, is, it was a nice and refreshing thing. I have fun playing with almost every single weapon. Uh, I snipe from time to time also, even though I don't have any sniping gameplay, but I had sniped before in this game. And so I like it. I like that, man. I think the weapons were nice. The perks, I like the perks, man. I, I think that the perks, there was there wasn't nothing really overpower. I thought you know there was some crush perks like, um, like uh, um, quick draw and, and you had a lot of people use um, the uh, the perk. You know you can see your footsteps. I forgot the name of it, but other than that, man, the perks were pretty balanced. I, I like the perks. Uh, my my cross perk was actually engineer. I ran the hack uh, engineer, um, and also I, I ran the hell out of uh, awareness. That was another cross perk for me. But I like I like the perks. I think the perks were pretty balanced. Nothing was really OP as far as the perks concerned. Now, the score streaks. I I think that this game has some good score streaks, and I think that the score streaks were were. The big part of of why this game was to me was the most fun I had in Call of Duty. Look at this Chevy going off, homie. Um, that's why, in my opinion, this game is the most fun I had. It's, it's really the most fun I had playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 3 because of the score streaks. Um, I think the score streaks were nice. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, you had score streaks that were pretty lame, like the uh, he the Hellstone from time to time, and the um, the oh man, I can't remember the name of that stupid Hell's not the Hellstone, but the other one, the um, the strike, the lightning strike was pretty weak, but you know, and 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 also the um, 
the Rolling Thunder was pretty weak also. But other than that, man, and, the, and, and oh man, how can I forget the Guardian was ass. But other than that, man, the score streets were pretty good, man. You had the Gorgon, you had, I mean, not the Gorgon, but the, um, you had this, this Chevy right here, and you had the Talon and the, the famous Mothership, which was pretty easy to get, and, um, a Sentry Gun. So you had some good, go, good enough streaks to have fun, you know, playing the game. The specialist idea was good. You know, I'm 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 very surprised that the specialist worked out as as well as it did. You could use almost every single specialist and have fun with them. I didn't like the fact that they bought they nerfed the hives, uh, they nerfed Nomad to the point where it was pretty disgusting to use. But overall, the the, the specialists were pretty nice, uh, and I like the specialists. Now, one note about the game that I really didn't like was the fact that that they give you some some extra weapons, but you have to get them through supply drops. I think that's a horrific idea. I didn't like that. But at a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, I I think I get I get this game at eight. Um, I give it an eight. Because, like I say, the supply drives kind of ruin it for me. The fact that you have to get really, really lucky to get to play the, with the new weapons. Uh, I didn't like to get two commons when I opened the um, the 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 blue supply drop. I forgot the name of it. But other than that, man, I think this was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward for the next Call of Duty. I know. I, I'm gonna have a lot of fun this year because I get to play two Call of Duty instead of one. So, thank you for watching again. I give this game an eight out of ten, and I see you guys later, man. Peace out. Later. La, 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 la.